Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, I want to share with you the most common cause of a B12 deficiency. But let's just talk about what B12 is. It's an essential B vitamin that you must get from your diet. And what it does is it makes these little things called nucleic acids, which, which are the foundational genetic uh, material for your cells. So basically, they make the foundation of red blood cells, white blood cells, and myelin. What is myelin? Myelin is the outer covering of your nervous system, and it allows the conductivity of nerve impulses to travel. When you lose myelin, you have all sorts of electrical problems, pain problems, nerve problems, pain, MS, all sorts of things. Um, so that's what happens when you're deficient in that. But you can also become fatigued, pale, memory problems, dementia, Alzheimer's, neurological issues like peripheral neuropathy, with, even with, um, like that's foot pain or hand pain. Uh, anemia, kind of you're completely, you know, there's, this, there's something called pernicious anemia. I'm not going to get into that, what it is, but it comes from B12 deficiency. But most B12 deficiency does, does not come from necessarily the diet. It comes from the stomach not being acid enough, low stomach acid, okay? Because it takes a very strong acidic stomach to absorb B12 into the body. And a lot of people have a problem with the pH in their stomach. Normally, a pH of the stomach should be between 1 and 3, which is really, really acidic. Um, the way you know you have a low stomach acid is you have acid reflux, GERD, gas, bloating, um, because the stomach is needed to be able to close the valve, digest protein, absorb minerals like calcium, iron, all these different minerals. One third of everyone over the age of 65 has a B12 deficiency, but they all also have a low stomach acid problem. So it's a really simple solution to fix a big problem. So what do we recommend? Apple cider vinegar, okay? Apple cider vinegar pills, or just go ahead and start drinking with your meals with some water, with a little straw, and that will create some really cool changes for a lot of people just by adding that one little thing in there. And you'll, you don't even need to take more B12. You can just go ahead and acidify the stomach and a lot of things clear up and you start to absorb B12. So it's a real simple, simple solution. Now to build the stomach acid, you also need a uh, certain healthy salt, like in sea salt, because a lot of times when you're low in sea salt, the, the acid goes down. Um, also you need potassium, it comes from the vegetables. So you need potassium to build the acid, also iodine. So you do need these minerals as well. Um, so if you're taking antacids or you're just eating poorly or you're not taking enough minerals and eating healthy, you will lose the stomach acid and then you start having a problem with this. So it's a whole chain reaction, okay? So go ahead and plug this in as far as to fix this and see how much better you feel. Write your comments below and I will see you in the next video.